Hello, my name is Carol Turley. I'm a candidate for trustee area two, Pajaro Valley Unified School District. I'm running because I believe in public education. We need a board that puts student learning first. We need a board that works well together and with the community. We need a board that's transparent without secret meetings. We need a board that supports educators and staff. We need a board that opens dialogue about difficult issues and makes the tough choices. In short, we need a board that believes in public education. I was born in the Pajaro Valley. I attended all Pajaro Valley Unified School District schools, kindergarten through 12. Both of my daughters attended Pajaro Valley Unified School District schools, both graduating from Watsonville High School. My father, Owen Hand, and my stepmother, Marsha Hand, were both career teachers in Pajaro Valley Unified School District, each working for more than 35 years. I have volunteered in classrooms. I've served on site councils. I've mentored young leaders. I've worked with um, outbound youth exchange students, preparing them for time abroad, sending them to countries such as Argentina, Germany, France, and the Netherlands. I am invested in Pajaro Valley Unified School District, and I want it and the students we serve to succeed. I ask for your support and your vote, but more importantly, I ask for your respect. Thank you. Hello, I'm Gary Redenbacher. I'm running for the Scotts Valley School Board. Since registering as a candidate, I've been asked several times why I am running. Well, simple enough, the teachers asked me to run. I have an extensive background in education law. As an attorney, I worked in the areas of special education and school discipline for many years. I'm currently chairman of the board of the Council for Children for the Children's Advocacy Institute at the University of San Diego School of Law. And I'm very proud to say I played a small part and some of the most significant protections enacted for children in our state the past 25 years. We're presently looking to curb social media and cell phone use in the schools, which has been shown to lead to depression in children and interferes with the learning environment. What do I want to do for our schools? It's no secret that we need to increase funding so we can recruit and retain high quality teachers, which means high quality education. That also means a richer elective program and better facilities. I've been very involved with our schools, so many of the teachers have seen and interacted with me. My children went through Scotts Valley Schools, and my wife, Renee Fish, was a teacher at the middle school for over 20 years. So I've had many opportunities to interact directly with the teachers and the school. I've coached at both the middle school and high school for many years. I'm currently coaching volleyball at the high school as an assistant to my daughter, who is the head coach. And I also served a term on the Construction Advisory Committee for our new middle school. With your vote and my familiarity with both our schools and child advocacy, we can do great things. I hope you'll think of me come November. Thank you. I'm Brian Largay, and I'm running for director of the San Lorenzo Valley Water District. I ask for your vote. Water sustains us. It supports the forests and streams that make our community so special. It extinguishes the fires that threaten our neighborhoods. This is why I dedicated my career to water resource management. With a graduate degree in water resources, I've worked since 1998 in the Santa Cruz Mountains and Monterey Bay area to restore the watersheds we depend on. I've mostly worked for nonprofits since 2012 at the Land Trust of Santa Cruz County. I've also run a small business focused on water. I'm deeply connected to SLV, with my kids graduating from SLV schools and my wife teaching at both elementary schools. I coached soccer and Little League and volunteered for the school district. I've helped secure $10 million for safe routes to school along Highway 9. Our water district faces big challenges. Our tanks and water lines are old and failing. Every winding road in our valley has a water line under it. Every landslide cracks a pipeline. The system is far more complicated and vulnerable than what you would find in a city with small lots and a simple grid. Keeping fixed infrastructure intact takes investment. 
This is why I also urge you to vote no on Measure U. We need to invest now to avoid emergencies. Many pipes in our area are too small to pressurize a fire hose. A broken pipe last spring meant Boulder Creek Elementary School didn't have water for three days. They used buckets to flush the toilets. That's not okay. The high cost of living is a threat to the fabric of our community. Emergency repairs are obscenely expensive. Investing now in our fixed infrastructure will save a lot of money. Please vote no on Measure U. And for safe, sustainable, and affordable water without the drama, please vote for Brian Largay for director of the San Lorenzo Valley Water District. Thank you. Hello, my name is Mercedes Malloy, and I'm proud to be running for Scotts Valley City Council. As a native Scotts Valley resident, I understand through and through the importance of our community, our vibrant and thriving community comprised of 12,073 residents. If elected, I would be proud to be the youngest on the ballot. As former Miss Teen Scotts Valley, I received a proclamation from the city regarding my community outreach and efforts. Since then, I've consulted prospective voters on the issues that matter the most. From our parks and recreation to climate change and resiliency, I understand why voters are voting the way they are. I understand that we need a fresh perspective, and I hope to bring not only a fresh perspective, but show that I bring valuable experience, that my experience is something that should not be overlooked simply because of the fact of my age. I'm honored to have been able to collaborate with organizations such as the United Nations and the U.S. State Department. I've engaged in bipartisan lobbying for the United Nations Foundation's Adolescent Girls Task Force called Girl Up. While I am the youngest on the ballot, I am not a stranger to being the youngest in the room. Given that I've worked at the local, state, and national, and global levels, I want to be able to utilize the experience which I've acquired during my study. That my track record and my experience, as well as my comprehensive policies, encourage all of you to support and vote for me. I hope to be the youngest elected official to our city council in our town's 56 years. Thank you. Please support and vote. <music> Hello, I'm Jerry Jensen, and I'm running for Capitola City Council because our community deserves thoughtful leadership that puts Capitola first. Leadership that brings us together and works for everyone. Whether it's addressing our housing crisis, supporting local businesses, improving public safety, or planning for tomorrow's challenges, I believe we can achieve more when we can come together and work as one community. I'm proud to be endorsed by the Capitola Police Officers Association 10 other former mayors, all planning commissioners whom I serve with, and many local businesses and community members who share my vision for Capitola's future. As vice chair of the Capitola Planning Commission, I work hard to address key issues like affordable housing, especially for our central workers, teachers, police officers, and firefighters, so they can live in the community that they serve. I've also led community efforts like the Capitol Wharf Enhancement Project, where we raised over $425,000 to rebuild and improve the wharf after the devastating storms. That project united us together and stands as a symbol of Capitol's resiliency for years to come. If elected, I'll focus on the following, making our roads safer and improving public safety, supporting local businesses and ensuring governance and transparency, expanding affordable housing options for all residents, especially our workforce, proactively addressing sea level rise through smart planning and to expand programs for youth, families, and seniors. With over 20 years of experience as a contractor in the, and also in the public works leader, I know how to get things done. This November, I hope to earn your vote for Capitola City Council. Please find me at jerry4capitola.com. That's G-E-R-R-Y, the number four, capitola.com. Thank you so much. Hi, my name is Melinda Orbach and I'm running for Capitola City Council. All my life I've gravitated towards service. As a family nurse practitioner, as a union steward, as a labor coach, as a tutor, as a parent, as a friend. I'm here to fight for a future where everyone has the opportunity to live where they work and to thrive. I will work hard to increase the quality of life of all of my neighbors, prioritizing public and active transportation, economic development, and housing access in order to build a better future for Capitola. I also live in the western half of the city, which has 60% of the population. 
but historically has been underrepresented on city council. I believe that the 41st Avenue corridor, which produces 83% of the annual sales tax revenue and is expected to accommodate 90% of the future housing development, deserves representation. The future is 41st Avenue, and this community must have a voice in the policy, budgeting, and shaping of that future. I strongly believe in representative democracy, where different lived experiences are valued and heard. And I believe that positive social change happens when we create policies that are inclusive and re represent the needs of a diverse group of people. As a working mom of three kids, I know how hard it is to raise kids here. I want to ensure that families' voices can be heard, that all voices can be heard, and that we break down the barriers to active civic engagement for working parents and other marginalized groups. We are best, most resilient when we come together. I stand before you today as a candidate driven by, by my commitment to our community. I want to be a part of a community that values and celebrates diversity, invests in educating our youth, protects our elders, and fights for our freedoms. I believe that by fostering a sense of community, promoting economic growth, and prioritizing the well-being of our residents, we can build a more dynamic future that thrives for generations to come. I, want, I will be honored to receive your vote for Capitola City Council. Thank you. Hi, I'm Kristen Brown, Capitola Mayor and candidate for County Supervisor in District 2. I'm a fourth generation Santa Cruz County resident with over 13 years of experience in government, nonprofits, and community organizations, including time as a congressional aide for Congressman Sam Farr and Congressman Jimmy Panetta. I care deeply about our community, and I'm running because I'm committed to addressing some of the toughest challenges around housing, transportation, and climate change. I currently serve as chair of the Metro Transit District and the Regional Transportation Commission. I've served for eight years on the board of the Association of Monterey Bay Area Governments, where I led the regional housing needs assessment process. I've also worked on the Monterey Bay National Marine Sanctuary Advisory Committee and successfully advocated for coastal resilience funding. As a city council member, I've championed mobile home rent stabilization, road repair, and youth engagement in government. Since the March primary, I've been working hard to prepare for office. I've traveled to DC to participate in a national working group on solutions to housing and homelessness, completed the Fire Safe and Crisis Now Academies, and participated in a Coastal Commission workshop on coastal hazard mitigation. I will soon participate in the Master Plan on Aging Solutions Summit. I'm honored to have the endorsement of every mayor and vice mayor in the county, along with Sheriff Jim Hart, the Deputy Sheriff's Association, professional firefighters, Local 3535, SEIU 521, and many more businesses, advocacy groups, and local community leaders, including our state's Lieutenant Governor, Alani Kunalakis. You can learn more about me on my website at votechristinbrown.com. I'm eager to hear from you and I'd be honored to have your vote this November. Hello, I'm Congressman Adam Schiff and I'm running to be your next Senator. I'm running for the Senate to tackle the big challenges facing our state and nation and get stuff done. This includes building an economy that works for everyone. Californians are working harder than ever, but so many still can't afford to get by. We need to build lots more affordable housing. We need to bring down the cost of childcare and make healthcare more affordable and accessible. We need to invest in millions of new green jobs, fight climate change, and lower costs for working families. We also need to protect our democracy and our freedoms, like abortion, which are on more fragile ground than ever. At the end of the day, Californians deserve a senator who can deliver. I have the strongest record of taking on the toughest fights and getting things done. And that's what I'll do when I go to the Senate. Protect our democracy and make sure the economy is working for everyone. And I'm gonna keep making that case to Californians every single day. I hope that I can earn your support. Thank you. <laughs> 